big barbecue outside. Like a big night in, but with barbecues and not inside. But now we've got that amazing intro out of the way. <laughs> Boys, welcome to our barbecue big night in. We're sat at the barbecue table. We've got it lit and ready to go. And we've prepared, or we're going to prepare, three awesome yes. dishes with vegetable at the focus. We are cooking our dinner here. So none of the prep, well, not much of the prep has we've, already been we've done. We've prepped it, like cut it, provided some sauces, stuff like that, but we're gonna cook it here. Risky, because there is nowhere to hide. No, we can see it all. Yeah. But we're not being judged anyway, so it's fine, because we're basically bringing all of the recipes that we've done this week, including a brisket from Jamie and a teriyaki salmon that Barry made earlier in the week, and we're just gonna eat it together. So no judgment, apart from your veggies. Well, you're going to want, these are well worthy of brownie point. You wait till we get onto them. The first one is our potato salad. Everyone makes potato salad, but I figured if we're going to do it, let's do it with roasted charred potatoes. So olive oil, salt and pepper in a big bowl and these wonderful Jersey Royals going in. If you're doing potato salad at this time of the year, Jersey Royals is the way to go. I would never think of barbecuing potatoes that weren't jacket potatoes. No, you get those, it takes, it takes forever. Yeah. You know? It will be the longest thing we take to cook here. Yeah. It will take probably 20 minutes to get a nice charring. Then we're gonna put them on tin foil, move them to one side and let them finish cooking while we cook everything else. And while we're doing it, we can enjoy beer. So we've got them over a relatively high heat and we wanna just keep them moving so we get a nice char on them. Preferably without too many flames, because the flames are what make it sooty, we just want it charred. If you were to make potato salad at home and there was an Aussie who said you cannot have a barbecue without a potato salad, typically... How would he say it? Typically... Now, how would he say it? <laughs> One brownie point for even trying to say it. One brownie point. You can't have a barbie without a potato salad. You know what? <laughs> that is a good effort. That's a solid four. That's good. That's solid four. Thank you <laughs> out of... Hey. <laughs> Out of uh, 29. <laughs> <laughs> Have a brownie point. There you go. Look at that. Um, that was worth it. Yeah, that was. <laughs> Jamie, I know you're a steak man. I, it has been known. So, yep. to the yourself. table, we have brought cauliflower steaks. Now, these are going to be delicious. Sweet, salty, umami, miso cauliflower steaks. Ben, you went, you went brave there. Starting, starting with, you're a man who loves steaks. Let me give you half a cauliflower instead. <laughs> <laughs> so the cauliflower steaks are literally grilled, but it's the secret sauce that goes with it that makes it amazing. So we're going to drizzle over our cauliflower steaks is ginger, garlic, melted butter, miso, soy, tahini, and that's it for now. And then we're going to add a squeeze of lemon and some spring onions. Continuing with our veggie theme. Yeah. We've got asparagus. Toss it in oil, salt and pepper, and we're just gonna lob it on. I have to say, this is the first big night in that we've turned up to when it's not been ready. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it kind of feels like you should have invited us an hour later. But isn't this part of the fun? We chit and chat together. Watching you cook food. I do that every single day. <laughs> <laughs> As the cauliflower cooks, this sauce is also reducing, so the butter, the miso, it's getting stronger and stronger. So these final glazes are super sticky. And a bit like the salmon we did at the start of the week, it's the glaze of the sugar, in this case the honey. Start of the week it was brown sugar. So we finish off the cauliflower salad. We're going to dribble over a last bit of this sauce that's bubbling away. Go for it, go for it. And then we've also got some toasted sesame seeds. Oh. We want a fleck of colour, so we've got some spring onions we'll just finely chop. And the final flavour, a little zest Ooh. of lemon. And the reason for the zesting of the lemon is for colour, not because I forgot to put it in the sauce at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give away the trade secrets, Mike. The asparagus to char doesn't need long at all, so what I'm also going to do is grab ourselves a ciabatta loaf oh. and cut it right the way down. What you're looking for is a beautiful char, but still a crunch at the stalk. That's the delicious part and then the bread can go onto your grill. We've got our charred asparagus, gorgeous croutons, a couple of tablespoons of pine nuts. We've got some beautiful mozzarella here, which we're just literally gonna rip in. We're keeping some asparagus raw and we're just peeling it so you get gorgeous strips. 
because these in a salad are amazing. Oh, yeah. A handful of rocket, and at this point, a squeeze of lemon juice, salt, pepper, oil, toss it all together, it's delicious. We're gonna add a few pieces of Parma ham into this one, but obviously stop at this point if you want to keep it vegetarian. Exactly. I was just saying, <laughs> I was just miming, I was interpretively dancing to your instruction. You said stop as well, and that can only mean one time. Hammer time. <laughs> Oh no. You can have that one for free, lads. <laughs> Give the salad one final toss to all those flavours come together. And then there's no better way than with your hands. Chard asparagus and bread. Something about burnt stuff that makes it look yummy. Yeah. yeah. Burnt potatoes. Burnt bread. Burnt cauliflower. Yum. I'm not even being sarcastic. I love really? it. No. Wow. Look at it. How, look, how good does that look? It looks yeah. really good. Oh, look at it. Oh, great. Another really good looking plate of food to look at. <laughs> we can eat soon. We can eat soon. So to finish off our potato salad, if you're scared that they might be burning before they've cooked through, you can always put them in tin foil, clump it up, put it to a cooler pot. Actually, we've kind of nailed this because I've just cut into this one and they're cooked ah, all the way through, steamy and it. crunchy. Nicely done. Awesome. Now, I don't feel like we've cooked enough stuff on the barbecue, so let's do some <laughs> charring of spring onions. Can you do that? Then you're gonna cut them up once you're happy they're cooked through and toss them into your dressing. The dressing is mayonnaise, sour cream, Dijon mustard, the zest and juice of half a lemon, and three herbs, basil, mint, and parsley. Now what you've got is the crunch of charred potato skin and spring onion, but we want added texture for some almonds, so a couple of tablespoons of those. One stir up, and we're good to serve that as well. Now please tell me that's the last thing. All right, guys, this is ridiculous, right? <laughs> I just don't know what he's playing about. I'm really sorry. Listen, the, the, the truth of the matter is that we had the big night in yeah. um, discussion and then I went on holiday. <laughs> so I don't really know what's going on. Some fresh herbs. And then we have a mountain of warm, charred Jersey Royal potato salad. Oh. I think we need to get some salmon, some brisket and dig in. Can't yes. wait to eat that for the first time, can we? Really? Can't. Yeah, no, that's going to blow my mind away. You're not going to believe this, but we're actually going to let you eat this stuff now. Yes. Um, you can see Jamie's carving away his brisket. We are going to eat this and try it, the three of us, for the first time. He made this in a video earlier on in the week. I've got my salmon teriyaki over there, which I made on Monday, and that is to die for. I like how we've got, um, we've got meat as sides. So yeah. our <laughs> the celebration here are these. Now, I feel like you wouldn't normally have cauliflower steak on the same plate as brisket. Tell us what you think. Oh, oh, that is so buttery. I did not expect that to taste that good. I really like that. And I would never think to do that. Cauliflower is just something you put cheese on. So usually with like charred potatoes and so on, it can taste almost a bit bitter because of the soot. Um, but because of all the herbs and everything that's in it, it's quite fresh. Mm. Yeah, and the lemon and as lovely well. lovely balance. And there's something about having sour cream rather than just mayonnaise based. It's not quite as cloying and like heavy. It's much lighter. I am very much looking forward to the brisket. Let's go, go for it. I'm making yeah. sure I get a bit with some of the bark as well. The flavour, I'd say, is bang on. Mm. That takes me back to Austin. I'm holding a knife, but I don't really need it. But you could use it upside down. It just, it's just pulling it apart. It falls, but I wouldn't say. So this is not. A, no, 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 please. This I, is an experiment. My, from my memory of um, the uh, the brisket in Austin, 
the fat almost oozed through every mm -hmm. single crevice. Whereas this, I'm not saying it's dry, but it's not as moist, no. not as juicy. It reminds me of proper corned beef in the UK merged with brisket from Texas. Did you help Jamie at all? No. <laughs> Two brownie points. Wow. Because I, I don't think any of us as yet have gone out on a limb and created a recipe from scratch with no help from any chefs at all. I'll give you a brownie point. Wow. Wow. Eat the salad. Not the potato salad. The actual salad. The actual salad. Our asparagus salad. Mm. So simple. That is a salad. It's not really a dressing as such, it's just the olive oil, the char and a squeeze of lemon. And you know what? If you don't want to put the parma ham with it, it's not like it's the main part of the dish. It's not life changing. It's just nice. I'd add a little bit more salt if you were going to go without the parma ham because it gives it a nice salty flavour. You know what I find gutting about this? Is that is one of the best barbecues I've ever had, but I don't want to give any more brownie points out. You've dished out two. Yeah. It's not bad going. I've given one to Jay. I gave one to Ben, straight off just for the Australian accent. But the food is amazing. I know it's your job, but I'll give you another brownie point, especially seeing as we had one conversation about this and then I went on holiday. I'll give Ben a brownie point for, uh, for the barbecue because like, <laughs> like we brought the meat and you brought the fish and things like that, great. But actually, the vegetables are things that people don't think about. Yeah. And when they do, there's nothing special applied to them. So this has been fantastic. Sexy salad. And while we're dishing out brownie points, I might take it away. I'd like to give one to uh, Barry for forcing us to actually come out of the studio and do some stuff outside. So that, thank you for finding right. some locations. Right. It feels like a sympathy brownie point, if I'm being honest. <laughs> and for what is probably the longest vlog we've ever done, I mean, I made beer across 10 weeks, but I only spent about 10 minutes doing it. Whereas brisket, <laughs> hours, and you set nurturing that while we went and made chimney cake, you sat there, kept stocking it up. So for a full day of brisket that turns out as good as that, another brownie point. You've done very well this I week. I've done very well this week. Very well. Hella good week this week. Fantastic. Right. Should we tell them? So if this week wasn't good enough, next week we're not back in the studio. We're heading to America. We are finding game-changing food in two different cities, Chicago and Kansas City. It's important that you don't take this lightly because we're not going out there just to pick up some food in the first place that we go to and go, oh yeah, this is really delicious. We're not into that, we're not interested. It's got to be the best. Life changing Because <coughs> otherwise, what's experience. the point? We, yeah. we don't want to recommend it, we don't want to make videos on it, we don't want you guys to see it if it's not going to affect both of our sets of lives. We've called them game changers. If you have no idea what that is, there's actually a video we did a couple of weeks back. You can get the link downstairs. Uh, go and have a look. That's what a game changer is. That's what we're looking for. And it all starts next week, which is tomorrow. Work that out. Cheers, boys. <laughs> Cheers. Well done Cheers. to barbecue week. Yeah. So much. Click on the left if you missed our last video or click on the right video for one of our favourites.